Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Novus Big ESD Safe 2-in-1 soldering and hot air rework station. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we have the operating instructions and the instruction manual. So this looks like a list of warnings here. You're dealing with heat and electricity here, so you have to take into consideration all of those things. So you want to read through those. Here we have the operating manual. So this lists the different parts. We have the holder for the hot air gun, the hot air gun, the air volume adjustment knob, the temperature display for the rework station, temperature adjust buttons, soldering iron holder, cord, hot air gun, temperature display for the soldering station, receptacle for the soldering iron, temperature increase decrease buttons for the soldering station, and the soldering iron. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all of these instructions here, but I'll read through those and I'll go through the key points. But let's get this unboxed. Here's a holder. Here we have some tweezers, some solder tips. They look like they're pre tinned, and we have some solder. Looks like the soldering iron holder. We have a solder vacuum. It's a solder station. Pull all this out. So here's the heat gun, the soldering iron. These are the tips for the heat gun. It comes with three different nozzle sizes, and these have some bolts, nuts, and clamps to hold them on. So those will go in this holder. The soldering iron holder will mount in the bottom here. I'll press that in. Put the heat gun there. Soldering iron will plug in here. You want to make sure you line the pins up properly. There's a little keyed area here and one in the socket. So you want to make sure those are lined up. And then I'll tighten this nut down. There's a little silicone cap here. I don't need that anymore. This will fit in here. So this holder has some 3M very high bond tape here. So I'll peel this off. I'll attach that to the top of the soldering station. I'll press that in. It's really only touching on these two sides, but that should hold. Now I can put these in here, and these will have a machine screw and a little square nut on them. And these can be tightened with a number two screwdriver. So I'll get all these set up. So I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to read through the instructions and I'll come back and we'll do some demonstrating of this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is install a tip on here. So I'm going to install this small tip. So that will slide on there. I'll make sure it's pressed in all the way, and then I'll tighten this on. Feels pretty secure. So you do want to make sure that that is cooled down before you put a tip on. Now the soldering iron is mostly ready to go. I'll just make sure that's tight. This tip will need to be tinned, so I'll make sure to do that. I'll move this over to the side. Okay, I have some helping hands over here. Okay, so I have this little device. I just don't need it anymore. It's a tracking device. I'm going to try to remove the battery. I have to be very careful. I'm going to try and desolder this. I'll use my pliers to hold this down here while I'm heating this up, and I'll try and remove that solder joint to pull this out. I don't want to overheat this battery. It's a lithium battery. I don't know if I can get this side off. I may just have to cut it off. So I'll do that with the soldering iron, then I'll maybe try and remove some of these other components with the hot air gun. So for the soldering iron, I'll turn it on using the switch in the back. It's kind of hard to show you the switch. It's right below here, right below this area. I should have shown that before, but it's pretty easy to find. So right now the iron is heating up. So the iron is heated up. I'll need to tin this. I'm going to take some of this included solder, straighten that out and run it through the cap like so. I'll come over here and I'll just touch that against the tip of the soldering iron. Okay, I've got a little bit of a ball there. Looks coated good. I'll clean that off with my brass pad and we're tinned. I'm going to grab the back side of this with my pliers and I will try and melt this solder here. So that was melting a little bit slow and we're at 300 degrees here, so I'm going to up this. So on the bottom it says iron, but the bottom is the iron, the top is the hot air. I'll set that to say 350, take my iron, I'll heat this up, and I'll try and pull that through. Okay, so the iron is heating that up, it's melting the solder. This isn't the best example because I don't want to blow up that battery, so I'm just going to cut the battery off. But it was able to melt that solder pretty easily. I'll just pull that off, and I'll break this off the other side here too. Okay, I found this other circuit board. I'll clamp that in here. First, I'll add a little bit of solder to these joints. I'll get the solder sucker ready. This is real tricky to do on camera here, but I'll heat this up. Don't know if I got that in there. Looks like I got some of it. I'll try this one now. See if I can pull this out now. Okay, I got one side out 
and I've got the other side out. So that's the soldering iron. This isn't a whole soldering tutorial. This may not be the best demonstration, but there we go. I removed a resistor there. So if we go to the rework station here, I can turn the iron off by pressing the plus and minus at the same time. Now the hot air gun is in standby mode. I can press this button to prep it. So we have it at 300 degrees. Now to turn this on, I just lift it up. So I'll lift it up. It will start and you can see the temperature will start increasing here. I guess I'll just let it get up to temperature. So 300 degrees, we can increase that if we want. And to turn it off, we'll set it back down. You'll hear it's still going to run, the fan is running, and that's so it can cool down. So once it gets down to 100 degrees, and this is Celsius, it will kill the fan. And it will still be hot, obviously, 100 degrees will boil water. And you can turn the fan up and down. So if we want to cool faster, we'll turn that up. Okay, so you heard that fan turned off. So I don't have a lot of experience working with these surface mount components. At least it's been a few years since I've messed with them. But I'm going to try and remove, say, one of these components. So I'll lift this up. I'll let it get up to temperature. And I'm actually going to raise the temperature a little bit. Right now I'm at 400. That's probably a little hot, but I want to get in and out quickly. This is difficult with my camera in the way. So, so it's said to keep it two millimeters away. Let's see if I can come in from the other side. Now I can see something melting here. There we go. I just dropped it. I'll set this back in the cradle. So I'm letting this cool down. Now I do want to make sure that I have an area in front of this. I'm not setting it in front of a wall, something that could combust. If I move my hand, say four to six inches away from that, it's very bearable. So use your own judgment there. It's very hard to see in my hand. This is the component I removed. It's the size of a grain of sand. Okay, this is cooled down now. I'll shut it off on the back side. So I don't know if that was the best demonstration. It's kind of hard to do that in front of the camera and I need to do some more practice. So I think this is gonna be a nice workstation for doing soldering and hot air work. I like the digital display here so you can tell exactly what temperature you're at. Now you can calibrate this and the calibration instructions are in the instruction manual. So I haven't touched that yet and I'm not sure exactly how to calibrate. I need to be able to measure that temperature, but this does have that capability. I like the compact design of this. This fits on the workbench. So this would work well for surface mount devices for fixing problems, remelting solder, or even building electronics with surface mount devices. You could also use this heat gun for shrinking shrink wrap. I do that a lot when I do automotive type wiring. I solder wires together and then I shrink wrap it. So this does also come with the solder vacuum. It comes with these tweezers and these are ground very nicely. So those come to a point. You could easily stab yourself with those. So you gotta be careful. And it has the angled ones too. Those also come to a sharp point and the solder and it comes with the tips. So this comes with a couple different tips here. I'll probably switch out the tip for the kind of smaller angled one, but they are pre-tinned. I thought that was interesting. The ones in the bag came pre-tinned but the one in it did not. So that's the Novus Big 2-in-1 Soldering Iron and Hot Air Rework Station. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.